is strong, but it's been so many times even here locally where it's just the remnants of a tropical system that produces tornadoes in our area. And we are watching for tornadoes today moving into New York, Vermont and just northwest of our area here locally. I do think some of these storms could hold together and be strong in the form of gusty wind and downpours. However, it does appear that the tornado threat is going to stay to our northwest and good news there. But you can see the track of the remnants of barrel continue to stay just to our northwest moving into Canada here. And so it does appear that not only the strongest storms will stay to our northwest, but also the heaviest rainfall. We have a flood watch that has been issued for much of northern New England, just missing us here to the south. So the heaviest rain could amount to four to six inches and in some of the heaviest downpours for northern New England here locally. There will likely be a few downpours that hold together as they approach us, but they'll be more isolated in nature. And so I do think there'll be a few hit or miss spots where we could see near two inches of rainfall for this evening and heading into tomorrow. It's something we'll be watching in a scattered form heading into Friday as well. Our humidity, that's something you've been feeling for days now. It's actually higher today with some of the moisture from barrel passing by. We have dew points in the mid 70s. We're holding on to that through tomorrow and then it slowly starts to descend here as we approach the weekend, but still overall very muggy even as we head into next week. So no big relief in sight, unfortunately. And our temperatures are heating up quickly. 90 in Norwood, 86 in Boston. And that's despite some hazy clouds that are in place. Our feel like temperature heat index approaching the upper 90s to even 100. Manchester at 99 with our heat index. It feels like 106 degrees in Norwood. So we have a heat advisory still in effect. And it does cover more of our area now as we're seeing more of these 90s in place this afternoon, even extending into southern New Hampshire and southern Maine. The only only exception to that is the South Coast Cape and Islands as the gusty south wind in place producing this heat for us inland will actually keep things cooler down there as it's a flow off of the ocean. 12 hour forecast in Boston showing some clouds mixing through. It's not a perfectly blue sky kind of a day, but the storm chance looking relatively low over the next 12 hours. That's because as we move through our timeline here, you can see most of the action is staying well west of Boston, perhaps moving into western Massachusetts in the early afternoon, and we'll watch for that into the evening, perhaps skirt areas north of Route 2 heading into tonight. But in the overnight hours into tomorrow, that storm threat gets a little closer. Notice we're very warm overnight in the low to mid 70s and we hold on to that humidity factor. So any scattered storms have that easy potential to produce very heavy downpours, tropical downpours even as we head into tomorrow morning. It's not a widespread washout, but where these cells set up, they will be strong and we're watching that into the afternoon. Less than a wave storms for our Thursday evening. Evening, but there's another round moving in for Friday, and so we have to be on alert right on through Friday afternoon as well. Now, of course, we're looking ahead to the weekend. It's only Wednesday, but it does appear that the wettest day will be Saturday as we're watching a front that's still hanging overhead.